the lot Kept it real from the jump, jump. Need nobody to ride Put the skin on my own Let them try, he gon' die I'ma let it be known They be babies inside Playing games with the grown Nigga, play in your head Boy, don't play if you know But they serve for free But they blood with the cost I'm stuck in my ways, I'm stuck in my ways I want all the smoke been up for days to my mama, I changed but she know that I won't Word, man, word. We back, we back. Another edition of Muddy, Muddy Waters, man. And we, and we here with, um, I'm here today with, state your name, man. What's your name, bro? Uh, uh well, stage name, J Biggs. Uh, real name, Vida Jabbar Merritt. Go by Jabbar Vida. Depends on, depends on who it is that's talking to me. So you are a, a artist. Yeah, um, in a sense, you could say that. Um, I've done some recording, you know, writing and uh, and uh, and whatnot. Today's uh, segment is going to be on on the music, man. On you know, just music. Period. The the uh, the change of music. You know, the beginning, the some of some of the pioneers of music. But um what uh what type what inspired you to to the to the music? Man, I've been inspired to the music since I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, you know, growing up listening to the radio. Um Hold on, do you mind us asking you how old you are? Forty seven. So, okay. I ain't got no problem with my age. And and, and and what is your so you are you all around you all around music lover or just one genre? All, all around. I love it all, man. I, I don't particularly you know, I grew up on rock and roll, hmm. which a lot of people don't realize. Uh being in the South, you know, before hip hop came along and and the R and B part of it, all you had was you had a little bit of blues, you had a little bit of rock and roll. So I pretty much grew up on rock and roll music. Uh, and then along came the, the blues. We had the blues mixed in. and Then came the R&B. And then in the uh, you know the late 70s was hip-hop. So I, I really, I've always been into it, listening to it. You know, mom and dad had... All kind of records and stuff, you know. Some of them they let us listen to, some of them they wouldn't. But I've always been into it, you know, until, you know, hip hop came along and it gave me a little something more to what I can relate to. Really? You know, so I never did, you know, my uh, origin of music, <coughs> which was rock and roll, has not left. Now, don't get me wrong, I still listen to my soft rock all the time. Soft rock. Give us an example. Ooh, ooh. Soft rock, uh, like Aerosmith, uh, uh, Boston, um, uh, George Thorogood. Um, man, there's so many of them, man. Uh, from back in the day. I mean, I even listened to a little Black Sabbath. Uh, um, what's my man? Uh, Phil Collins when he was with Genesis. Um, White Snake, Poison. That's interesting. Man. I mean, I can I can name a lot of them, and it's crazy because when I talk to people and we listen to the music, and I start singing the song, they looking at me like, "How you know this song?" And I'm like, "Bro, I was raised on this." You so know? would you call so would you call them some of your favorite artists? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. 
Aerosmith is my favorite as far as the rock and roll game goes. Can't nobody touch Aerosmith. I'm sorry. You know, it'll never happen. I'm talking about amongst all this. Amongst, amongst all, all music periods, you, you would music. call them some of your favorites. I would call them some of my favorites, man. Them, and then you get into R&B, and you jump into, like, The Temptations and stuff like that. When you get to that, Jen Yard, and, you know. That's I mean, I'm, 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 I'm tripping because this is interesting because this is my brother, and I didn't even <laughs> realize that. Now, it, it makes sense, though. It makes sense being... 47 and thinking about when hip hop really hit the scene. Right. Damn. Did you right? You did grow up the first your first few years listening you hip hop was not even out. It was not even out. Cuz I was I'm straight hip hop baby. <laughs> I'm straight right. hip hop from right. when I'm from birth. I came birth, in like I came the, in with uh the Houdini, Houdini and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you you was born was yeah. around around the time yeah. when hip hop started. Yeah, so I'm a, right. So I'm a hip hop baby. You feel right, me? Right. But so see, before that's that, interesting. I didn't before that, we didn't have that. Right. So we had we had the blues with like BB King. Damn. We had jazz with like Miles Davis, uh, Cold Train. You know wow. stuff like that. Wow. Uh, hmm. You know people don't look at <coughs> you know back when when Muddy Waters was out. And his crew that he ran with, you know, Cadillac Records. Muddy Waters. Shout out to Cadillac Records. People don't know a lot of stuff about that. But before that, you know, you'll hear people talk about where they where they got their music from. And and that's that's far and beyond. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go way back to see where they got it from. But we ain't gonna worry about where they got it from because it's all music to me. I don't care where you got it from, it's music. But at the same time, growing up for me, that's what we had. When you turn on the radio, you didn't have no black station. You didn't have no Power 98 in Charlotte. You had rock and roll music. But it was a different rock and roll because it wasn't heavy metal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was just regular rock and roll music. And that's what I grew up on until it started to change. It started to change. But at the same time, if you look at it, even hip hop still has some rock and roll in it. True. True. If you listen to some of the music and you go <laughs> beyond the music itself, you'll see that some of the samples that might be in there might be from some rock and roll music. So don't let it fool you about some of the, you know, the older cats like Wu Tang Clan and all them, do, do, they grew up on the same thing, bro. They grew up on the same thing. You can hear it in the music. And, and, and that's where my love for music came from at an early age. But like I said, when hip hop came out, it gave me something to 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 communicate with my people. You know what I'm saying? And it was a form of art that we all love. You know what I'm saying? It gave us something for us. You know what I'm saying? Because we at the time so? we didn't have nothing. Yeah, how so? How so? We just, I mean, you know. Um, I mean, you had the blues. When you, when you, but, but everybody's not. But everybody didn't want to be bluish. Everybody, everybody didn't want to be bluish, but yeah. at the same time, the blues consists of a lot of actual instruments. You see what I'm saying? With when it comes to the blues, you either got a blues guitar, or you got somebody playing a saxophone, or you got somebody playing a trumpet. Everybody's not talented like that. So what do you do is you 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 mix your words together and you form a sentence that sounds good to you. And hopefully it'll sound good to somebody else. That's where you get the rap from. I, I understand okay. where you're coming from. How did that correlate okay, with so the instrument? I'm going I'm to correlate. I'm going to correlate this other correlate part. The correlate this other part to you too. Because before <laughs> hip-hop, as African Americans, as blacks took in hip hop, hip hop was already out there in country music. Really? Yes. I know you've heard of Charlie Daniels. I heard the name. So if you've heard of Charlie Daniels, if you haven't heard any of Charlie Daniels music, you need to listen to Charlie Daniels. Charlie Daniels was around before hip hop. Charlie Daniels was around. When rock and roll was around, early country music, I didn't really get into country music like that, but I am a Charlie Daniels fan. Mm -hmm. Reason being is, 
almost every song that you hear from Charlie Daniels is a rap. Everything rhymes. Anybody ever listen to Devil Devil Went Down to Georgia? You ever heard it? No, I can't say I have. Charlie Daniels song. You need to listen to it. It is in t the entire song is a rap. The entire song is a rap. Really? Yes. It's called Devil Went Down to Georgia. It's about a young man who can play a fiddle, and the devil challenges him to a battle on the fiddle. That's what the song is about. But the entire song is a rap song. He's got several of them. So that was early. Hmm. It popped up in the first name, too. Yes, that was early, early hip hop, but it wasn't considered hip hop because he was a country western singer. Country western? Yes. Charlie Daniels is a country, country western singer. But I almost saw his song. Oh, yeah, I remember this song. Yes, Devil Went Down Joy. That's a rap song. It rhymes. Everything in that song rhymes, bro. He doesn't and sing. And it's, it's got a fast beat, too. He don't sing it to the chorus. Fast pace, too. So to speak. And this came out when? I don't know. It came out early before. It 70s. came out before hip hop. Early 70s, something like that, yeah. Charlie Daniels is old. Okay, okay. Old man. From there, from there, this is where we're going to go with this right now. This is where we're going to go with this. Now. Man, that's great. No, not like, saying, not saying that hip <coughs> hop was not created. Yeah, yes, 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 but that's where I want to go. I know, but not saying that it wasn't created by the New Yorkers that created it when they created it. They just did it in a different fashion from what he did. Yeah. But it wasn't considered hip-hop because it's country western. It, what do what you mean? That wasn't, Charlie that's Daniel not, wasn't. Okay, okay. Yeah, so That's not considered so, a hip-hop song. That's considered country western because that's what his genre music is. So, what was the, the first form of hip-hop was what? Around what, African Bombada now? No. No, the first hip-hop was... Um, the guys that did uh, Don't Push Me Cause I'm Close to Don't the Push Me Cause uh, I'm Close to the, Yeah, oh, that I was can't close. remember a guy's name. I, I mean, that was, that was name. African Bambada now. No, that wasn't African Bambada. African Bambada did uh, Planet Rock. That was uh, Grandmaster Flash. Don't Push Me Cause I'm Close to The Furious Five. Okay, so. So they, they are the original. Would you, would, you, would, you, would, you, would you say hip hop? They Would you say that they started hip hop from. Charlie Daniels, because it's crazy that there's that they that there's well, talking about the devil. You, I'm just saying, man, because what what hip hop has came to right now, the way hip hop no, is because right I now, and and the way the way it was formatted from the beginning, the way it was formatted what you're because saying. it was a lot of it was a lot of struggle and right devilish seemed like a lot of devilish stuff that was going on in hip hop. I don't really look at that, that song as being like a devilish type song. I just look at it as a as a song where he's talking about playing a fiddle. That's all. I don't look at it's it. It's funny as, they say that the, the, that the devil is the uh, minister of music, though. I don't even really look at it like that for that I know, song. No, but I'm just uh, you know. My it's mind, just that's just not my me. mind runs. I understand. <laughs> Mine would my too. My mind runs like a river, but man. I don't. Just, I don't look at that particular song. As that, because I mean, he could have changed the words to something else. Right, right, right. It yeah. just probably fit you know. the song at the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To use that. So, with that being said, <coughs> I'm not going to say that that's where, you know, hip hop got its thing from. Because, like I said, if you look back, if you look all the way back, and I looked at a documentary on this, on, on, on the, the history of music, a lot of music that we have now started deep in New Orleans. But a lot of people don't realize. A lot of music started in New Orleans. When you had the big bands and, and you know big band music and stuff like that. People don't really know about the big bands and stuff. Love big band music. That, that's that's some good music. That's some good music. But they will say 
that originally, even though white America has rock and roll, they'll tell you that they stole it from us. That we were the originators of what? Rock and roll music. I mean, you got Chuck Berry. Yes. And to me, Chuck Berry is the originator yeah, Chuck of Berry. rock and roll. Chuck Berry, they stole all Chuck Berry stuff. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. So, so they kind of... They you, can't, right. you, you, you can't necessarily put it that way because to me, even though that particular song kind of has a hip-hop feel to it because they rhyme it, it's still not considered a hip-hop song. I still feel like Grandmaster Flash and his crew created hip-hop because they didn't just create the, the wave of the music. They, create, they started a culture. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could say that. Of and course, dress. yeah. The dress code. Yeah, they had, they started a culture, oh, something, yeah. something that the we look, didn't already the have. Look. They created the right. look of it. The swag. The swag. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Something that we didn't already have. But again, <coughs> you go all the way back deep into it, you know what I'm saying? All that music was depicted and, 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 and stolen from somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Where do you think Elvis got all of his shit from? Right, right. Not like, really. <laughs> What white man moved like that back then? Right. What white man sounded like that back then? Right. You know what I'm saying? I had to get them somewhere. So, who um, who would you say is give me your top three? Hip hop. Hip hop. Since since we since you say hip hop was the was the music that you know My you, your, your choice your choice of 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 uh, doing your choice of recording when it came out, we are gonna stick with hip hop. What would be no? Well, I'm gonna go back to something else in a minute. But who would be your top three hip hop artists? My top three now, or my top three of all time? All time, man. Oh I man! I mean, man. yeah, the top three of all time. Then we'll say top oh, three, man. Well, now. My top three. Let's say top time. three now. Let's say top three now. Top first. three now. First. Mm. Man. Right now, of course, <coughs> you know, <coughs> a lot of y'all not going to want to hear it, but it is what it is, but Eminem. Now? Now. Eminem ain't did shit in... Ain't got to, bro. Eminem is Man. fascinating when it comes to the microphone. Eminem ain't done nothing in the daggone... He don't have to do it. Yes, he has. He has actually done one. He's done it out. Um, not unless you just... I mean, lyrically, I mean, who can really touch that? You know what I'm saying? Underrated, that's not being talked about, J Electronica. A lot of people ain't talking about J. Right. But J is fascinating when you listen to him. He did it. He, re he does have some stuff on the internet, on YouTube, with Jay-Z. I listen to it. Yeah. Yeah, I heard it. It's the truth. And number three. Oh, man. That's, that's. And, mean, you, and this is the order you put them in? No, just, oh. just three. Just, I'm just giving you three. I don't even, I can't even come up with a third one because, man, I listen to a lot of the same stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm stuck on certain artists that I listen to. Ghostface. Still? Still. Okay, so what do you base, what do you base your lyrics you base all your, your you base it all, on, all lyrics. on lyrics. You don't base it on choice of beat. All on lyrics. All on lyrics. Never choice of beat. Whatever your beat lyrics. is, whatever your beat uh, is, your delivery. Beat, your beat ain't even gotta be hot. It ain't gotta have no bass. It could be all treble for all. What about delivery? Beat. Delivery. If your lyrics, punchline. If your everything, bro. Delivery, punchline, your format, your subject matter, what you talking about. Nobody <laughs> content. Nobody, no, no MC 
in creation other than Rakim. And he's one of my top three forever, all time. Can can deliver the way Ghost can. Ghost can Ghostface can give you three and a half minutes of a song, and it's still about the same thing he talked about when he first started the round. You don't believe me? Go pick up Wizard of Poetry. Probably the probably the single best Ghostface album next to Iron Man. Probably the single most creative album since Iron Man. And it's it's fire because his lyrics, his delivery, everything. This dude has a song on there where he tells a story about being in his crib. Looking for his girl. It's her birthday. And all of a sudden he get an urge. But he can't find her. So he goes. He gets. He calls somebody. He gets somebody else to go look for. He jumps out in his golf cart. It's raining. He drives around his property. He pulls up to his guest house. He hears something in the guest house. Boom. He busts in. His girl in that with Fabulous. And they getting it in. Fabulous is the cable guy. But he, but the, but the song never differs from the whole situation that he's looking for his girl. You see what I'm saying? That's how the song started. That's how the song ended. In the same scenario that it started with him looking for the girl, looking for the girl in his cell phone. It's a beautiful song. It's, it's a beautiful album. Why, you know. Why it didn't get more accolade, accolades than what it should have? Who's to say? But we're gonna get to that. Mary Clean so Structure. Who, 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 who your top three all time? Rock him. Definitely rock him. Yeah, yeah. Just give us those quick. Um, rock him. LL. LL. LL Cool J. All time. All time. That's up for debate. Nah. Because because of his because of his run and lyrically he is phenomenal. That's up for debate. Nah. Rakim, LL and who? Nah, K R S one. All time. All time. Top three. Top three. You want top five? Nah. We're gonna stick with top three. Alright, and then top five, I'll throw Biggie in there. Number four. Damn, that's a that's just debatable. Why? It's very debatable. Why? I mean, I'm sure a lot of. I, I mean, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with it, but I just know a lot of people would debate that. You know why? Because a lot of people are going to debate the fact they're going to say LL Cool J is soft. I ain't going. That's what they're going to say. Just saying, I just don't hear LL in no convers in no top five conversation. You're never going to hear it because he hasn't done music like that in so long. Nobody's going to talk about it. But you got to understand. I'm 47. I grew up when LL was rocking the bells, bruh. Tell me wasn't nothing hotter than that back in the day, bruh. Walk like a walk like a panther. I'm bad. All of that, man. Come on. Bruh, you can't touch it. Lyrically, the dude phenomenal. Okay, before we um before I continue with hip hop, I do wanna kind of go back on something right now, right quick. What happened to R and B? What happened to R and B music? What happened to it? Do you do you think R and B? Let me ask you this: Do you feel like R and B music is what it used to be? No. Okay. What happened? What happened to R and B music? They put it into the hands of a bunch of youngsters who don't really know nothing about. I mean, but everything. What? Well, everything what? one day is gonna be put into the hands of a youngster. We so, understand that. You know what I'm saying? We can't be. But they ain't been. But they ain't been. <coughs> the generations have not been taught the proper way. R and B. Why? 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 R and B music is mostly about love. It's supposed to be, but why? What happened? What happened? I think it was. You know what? You know what happened? Let me let me, let me tell you. Uh, he, you got grandmothers. You got grandmothers that are in their thirties. Nowadays, that's what happened. 
they too busy trying to party with their kids instead of teaching them about real love. Okay, that could be. Now, that's that could be what a, it is, yeah. That man. could be one thing, but you, I, I'm gonna give you where I, I think R and B kind of took a took a dive. Mm-hmm. And this is nothing. This is nothing against the album, but I feel like it is just the cause of it. Who's out? The Chocolate Factory. That album right there. All that dude, the whole album was fuck, 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 bang, okay, bang, so bang, bang. In and, defense and, of that, <laughs> in, in defense of that, for me, and, and, I haven't and, heard the whole and, album. And the best of both, and the best of both worlds too. Best of both worlds. Then moving on up to the Chocolate Factory, because the best of both worlds. That just, I think that kind of. I don't know. Was, I don't know. Jay Z overshadowed. Uh, R. Kelly, that made people be like, mm, R&B is kind of not what I think anymore. And then, of course, then Chris Brown hit the scene. Chris Brown hit the scene, and he kind of just flipped the whole game. Talented brother. He flipped that whole thing where now everybody wants to be Bryson Tiller. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know what I'm with Chris Brown, though, Chris Brown does... He does two genres of music, though. He does R&B and he does pop music. Right. I mean, he can do a pop song just because he can do an R&B song. Right. So I can't really float him into that category with that. But like I said, I haven't listened to the whole Chocolate Factory now. Two, one. All right. So talking about the, uh, the album Chocolate Factory by Kelly, I haven't heard the whole thing. Yeah. So I don't really know the full content. Can I give you, can I give you the, 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 the basis? I'm going to give you the basis. You can give me the basis. Fucking and sucking and fucking and sucking and fucking and sucking and fucking and sucking. It, was no, it wasn't really no love in it, bro. It was just straight, raw, <laughs> put it in your mouth. So and, to you, you believe that's what changed hip-hop? That, is this that one album? No, R&B. I mean R and B. It it it, per se. it took the love out of it, man. Cause all you heard was fucking and sucking and fucking and sucking. That's all he did the whole time. And then I think it gave Chris Brown leeway to do what he did. It gave Chris Brown leeway to do what he did. Cause Chris Brown, even though he did it the way he did it, he kind of still was in that romantic with it. You know what I'm saying? But he just put the more uh, the more fast paced. But in his Wait, music, he, though, he don't really talk about a lot of stuff like that. Oh, Chris Brown. Chris Brown. No, nah, he don't talk. I mean, he do he do it romantically. Do it, what's that called? Uh, caught up. Caught up. Yeah. Uh, he don't really do a lot of it. Uh, but I, I mean, I see what you're saying. But he talk about he talk he talk he kind of talk about uh love uh right love uh what what's the word I'm looking for uh. He, he he talk about being caught up in love. He talk about but it's still uh, it's still love going bad. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but it's still the younger generation that has taken it where it, it, pretty much like you say went from that album and ran with it the way that they have. Because when you look back at hip hop, you know you look at Tyrese. Tyrese's music is not like that. Like what? Like that type of music, that Chocolate Factory album. Oh no, 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 no! It wasn't, but that's what I'm saying. You look at Tank. Tank music was. That's what I'm saying. What happened to him? What happened to it? I mean, nothing really happened to it. You know, stop listening to that type of music, though. I mean, younger generation. Even even music, music, music did what? Two, three albums, and he just made it on the way because he was like one of the latest. Yeah, but some people get into more of more of the writing aspect of it because you make more money when you write it. Versus performing it. You know what I'm saying? You get a bigger check at the end of the day. If you write a song for somebody and you sell it to them, you get a bigger check than you would if you perform you don't hear nobody and wait for you the, don't hear nobody wait singing for the royalties. Them, yes, you do. For, you do, but you just don't know who wrote the song. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me that's, let me, let me go back. You you probably got more women doing doing R and B now than men. Doing true R and B than men. Yeah, the women ain't that better either. Ain't that much better. But I'm it. saying you have more that's doing it, that's actually putting it out yeah, there, you know, and it's yeah. out there. That the, the R&B has gone to to the neo soul now. 
out there. You know what I'm saying? If you want to hear the romantic, I'm in love with you type R&B, it's more into the neo soul type stuff. But you, 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 rather you, than R&B. But you, you quit know? the hear aid of Beyonce. Well, yeah, she more. She's almost. She ain't, her shit ain't even pop, R&B. pop, pop. She's pop. more pop than anything. R&B has went pop. R&B straight R&B pop. has gone pop. R&B done went almost straight Pretty pop. Pretty much R&B is almost gone pop. Right. Right, that's the new pop. That's the new pop. Unless, yeah. unless you get, when unless you, you get Badu or 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 I mean, you get, to your, do you get your occasionals like some of these new artists that just came out. You know what I'm saying? I can't really think of their names and stuff like that. Uh, that just came out. You know, the girl that did the booed up song. You know, her stuff. So oh, I said saying? more girls. You see, but, you get more girls. But even at the same time, when you turn on the radio. You turn on that radio and you listening to that, especially for those of you here in Carolina. When you turn on Power 98, 95% of the time, you're going to hear a hip-hop song. You're not going to hear a lot of R&B. You're right. If you do hear R&B, then nine times out of ten, it's like some chocolate factory only, type shit. I don't even think they do the Quiet Storm anymore. Ain't no more Quiet Storm. I think they still do the Quiet Storm. Oh, okay. But the Quiet Storm <laughs> con- <laughs> consists of a lot of older hip hop. More like 107.9. You ain't got nothing new that's, that's consists of stuff like that. Yeah. Because, like I said, a lot of the guys in R&B, like you said, have taken on that chocolate factory scenario and that's what they sing about. Fucking and sucking. That's all the time. Is, boy. That chocolate you know what I'm saying? And I, when I heard it, I said, I don't listen to that type of shit. I said, you know what, what the heck? Is this what y'all like? Yes. <laughs> that's what I, I like. I, I don't was, listen to it. Mind blown, bro. When I, I first heard it. I don't it. listen to it. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to listen to some r and I'm going to listen to some, some, some older stuff. Some stuff that I like. Some Tyrese. Some Jamie Wine. Some Tank. Some, uh, you know... Charlie Merck, I mean Charlie Wilson yeah. type stuff. Yeah, you know what I'm saying the the, the, the you know Johnny Gill New Edition type. I, I listened to I listened to it one time and somebody else uh, somebody else was playing it when I heard that R Kelly. It, I, I didn't buy it. I didn't have it in the radio. I ain't never somebody heard else it. was playing it. I was listening. I was like, what the what? I said, damn, this is this the new R and B. I was like, man, last this is it. album. And ever since then, the R&B last ain't been R- the same. The last R Kelly album I listened to was "You Remind Me of My Chief." That was before Chocolate Factory. Yeah, that's way before Chocolate Factory. I, I have not Shit, listened to before, anything after. That was before the Twelve Play. That was before Two P Two. He, he no, did Twelve Play. Twelve Play was before that. No, not before. Remind me of my Jeep. Yeah, it was. No, it was not. Yes. I I I, yes. I I I agree to disagree. I I agree to but, agree. Uh, <laughs> so so that's what happened to R and B. It's it's gone downhill, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't really, you know, like my man say, you know, rapping bullshit. That's what it is to me. I can't get into it. You know what I'm saying? I listen to the women more than I do the men. Period. Point blank. Because they do have. They do make some kind of sense. You know what I'm saying? Because you still got Alicia Keys out there. You know what I'm saying? Erica Badu, Tamina, uh, Angie Stone, India Irie. I mean, granted, she's more neo soul now, but you still got, you know, the artists like that and stuff like that. Uh, but the, the, the guys that do R&B... Really fuck with well, them. that that would be when I felt like R and B changed a lot. Was the Chocolate Factory man when it went just totally somewhere else? Right. Which that was, and that was back in two thousand and I don't even know what year. It I came remember out. what year it was. It, that came out around about two thousand and thirteen. Mm. Two thousand thirteen. Okay. I mean, Chris Chris Browning was already out. But when R. Kelly did that, it, I think it gave Chris and them leeway to just take off more, even more with with, the, with their stuff. And it, that's why I said that Chocolate Factory came out around about 2013. Yeah, but see, I, I like Chris Brown, man. 
I like Chris Brown too. I, mean, I like some of the stuff. I mean, R. Kelly's talented like. too. You know, he's talented too. I just don't. R. Kelly just, I don't know what made him do that. Like, he did that, but he just went. He He's like, man, fuck it. I'm just. Shout out to Jamie Foxx. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, with that being said, where, how, where, and when did you notice a change in hip hop? Oh man! And and and, t- and and give us the give us the line. Give us the 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 the, the whole line. The history of the the change. How, where, and when? Education. Is key, and it's number one. Even in hip hop, education, education, education. As far as, as far as English goes, broken sentences. Stop breaking your sentences up, fellas. Let's put them all together. But, um, man, I don't really know. Um, Stop breaking your sentences up. Right. When 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 hip hop went to uh, hold on hold on hold on hold on let's let's let's, let's no, no 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 let's speak on that for a minute let me let me finish let me, let me I don't want to talk about the broken sentences though we are gonna come to the broken sentences I right, don't make me forget we broken, get ready we get ready to lead up to the broken sentences broken sentences so when 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 hip hop you know it had already become gangster back when NWA started their thing. It was it was probably a little bit after when they started trapping. When they started with the trap music, you know what I'm saying, it, it became a situation where you, you said who? Who you say? I didn't say a name. You said it started. I, I said it started after the introduction of trap music. What the change? The the change. It didn't start with trap music. It started after the <coughs> of trap music. Because once that trap music interjected itself. What would you call yourself? In the hip hop. What do you mean? What would you call yourself? Classic. Classic hip hop? Classic. Classic. I don't I don't I don't trap. Are there different genres of hip hop? Are there different genres inside of hip hop? Because hip hop is a genre I would, itself. I would think so. I how many? How many so. different ones? Or just? Or is it just one? Three to me. Three. Until name, you name. add in whatever you want to call this new generation. Wow. So that's four. Yeah. Okay. Name. Classical. Classical hip hop. Um. Um. Gangster. Gangster. And trap. And trap. And then. Rap. What we got now. Rap. Or as they call themselves, mumble rappers. Okay. All right. I don't look at it as a gender. I just look at it as you're not educating them to complete a sentence. All right. All right. Go back to your story. So, sometime after the, the introduction of the trap music, when you the, you get the emergence of T.I. And, and, and those Southern rappers and, and Jeezy, then you get into this newer generation of these so-called mumble rappers. What's your name? Two, one. So with, with these, you know, these so-called mumble rappers, um, I, I don't know. That that's when I started, you know, seeing more of a change when it. When it started going from that, and it's like every person that ever sold a drug in their life decided they want to be a rapper. But it's like, dude, not everybody can rap. You know what I'm saying? You you get up here and you say a bunch of bullshit that makes no sense whatsoever. To me, hip-hop has always been something of substance. You know what I'm saying? You talking about something, whether it's whether it's the, 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 the classical struggle from Grandmaster Flash to the the, the party of of Biz Marquee to the to the um 
you know, the, the, the fight for justice with, with KRS one, the political side of it, you know what I'm saying? The battle rapping style of, of rock him, you know, stuff like that. Um, it always had some type of substance to it. Plus, you could understand what they were saying. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to put a paragraph together, whether I'm looking at it on paper or whether I'm listening to it, I need to be able to understand what's being said. You're not William Shakespeare. You can't put this, thou, and that together and, and, and make it sound good to me. Not when it comes to my music. You're not going to be able to do that. So, with that being said, when it started to change, you would no, you noticed the change because of the way that these guys were speaking. And it's like, you know, to me, it's like, what what educational background do you have? Do you, do, did you graduate? Did you pay attention when you was in school? So, so does that bring us back to the broken? That brings us back to the okay, broken. Okay, that brings sentences. us back to the broken sentences. So, you're asking... Did you? So obviously we don't know, right? We don't know. We don't know. We don't so, know. Now some of these guys So, be so being an educated. artist, being an artist myself, being an artist myself, and you being an artist, you think the beach changed? The beach changed. The beach. Some, sometimes you can't help but they go and break your sentence up in these new beats, man. The, the beats have went somewhere else. That's where, that's where I think that's where I'm I'm trying I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt, you know what I'm saying? As far as the delivery and as far as their deliveries, the beat changed. Now content content I, I figured out I've I've A used some artist. of these I've used some of these new beats and still been able to give better content than these new cats, but. The beach changed. It does. I think the beach change does make it harder to. I disagree because if you're a true artist of your craft, and you're you way. You want to be considered an artist and not just a rapper. But it sounds better like this. You can rhyme to. Any but it beat. sounds better by can, breaking it up. You can rhyme to any beat. But they, it sounds better. The cadence. Don't the cadence. Is you better. Can, you they can, they've created a cadence. That's part of being an artist is 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 allowing your cadence to represent the, the track, the the beat that you can render. But what sales? To. This is this ain't about. It ain't even nowadays. It ain't about the content. It's, it's about it's, what with the money, what the and, number. And, it, and because of what sales is, because it's simple. The simplicity of it is what hey. makes it sell. When you can't understand the complex shit I'm about to say to you, when I'm spitting it, you you're not gonna want to listen to it. But when the same person comes behind me on the same track and they simplify their shit with their broken sentences, oh, I can understand that that's a little bit that's, better. That's money. Didn't have that money, man. That's money. Didn't have that money. I I do it because I love it. So what is that? Okay, let's move on. And what does that uh, what does that do to the does that does that do you think that affects the listener? Yes. Vocab yes. Vocabulary and, 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 and intelligence. Yes. The reason why I say yes is because of what I grew up on. I didn't grow up on southern music because there was no such thing as southern music when I came up. I grew up on northern music. KRS One. Rock him, LL Cool J, Run DMC, uh, Grandmaster Flash, Melly Mel, Furious Five, uh, Cool Mo D, uh, Biz Marquee, Big Daddy Kane. That's what I grew up on. You know what I'm saying? The reason reason I say that is because this Southern hip hop. Nothing against you guys, because I love the majority of you. Nothing against you, but. They have let Southern hip hop take over to the point where Northern hip hop don't get no shine. They don't get the shine anymore. None of it. They don't get the shine anymore. And that's nothing against T.I., Outkast, Jeezy, um, 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 We, Lil Wayne, uh, uh, Black Kendrick. 
Kendrick Lamar is from the West Coast, though. Yeah, I'm just, I mean, as an artist, though. As an artist, it's, it's different, but you only hear so much West Coast music. You talking too. about up north? Uh, as well. You I don't know. It's, it's, it's some cat. I, I, can't, nothing, I can't name them, but you it's hear some nothing, cats. You hear nothing on the radio. That my man from up north has played for me, and they... It's some, some newer cats, they. But you don't hear it. you don't hear none of that unless you go online. You gotta go on YouTube, yeah, and look them up if yeah. you want to hear from them. Because and it's been that way for years, right? For years, it's been that way. Southern hip hop has taken over the game. Two, one. So with them, you know, what I'm saying, with that being allowed, you don't get to hear a lot of the northern stuff you want to hear on radio. You turn on the radio, everything is southern hip hop, no matter what. It's Atlanta, it's Georgia and Florida, pretty much. The South. That part of the South. You don't hear from Texas no more. Even though my man Scarface was still doing music, you don't hear from a lot of them anymore. You know what I'm saying? You 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 might hear some Lil Wayne, uh Something like that. You you might hear from the way you don't even hear from the West Coast like you used to. You know what I'm saying? Not taking anything away from some of this Southern hip hop because I love Southern hip hop. Like I said, Ti and those guys, the newer generation, I just can't really get into because I don't understand them, and the content of their music is just it's nothing I can really get into. I can't, I can't really get into it like that. So, you know, back in, you remember back in the day, they used to say that the music played a, the music played a lot upon, you know, how society um, operated. And, you know, a lot of the artists fought back against it. Like, yo, no, no. Why, how can you blame it on us when that's the parents uh responsibility to mm -hmm. make sure that their, mm -hmm. you know, kids, you know, grow grow up to be, you know, a better, you know what I'm saying, in a better mind state. But how true is that now? It's still it's still, it's still, it's still true. It's still true because... It's still lies true. Granted, I don't have any children. But the, but the music was different then, though. The music was different then. Diff it was different... How to far the, back you talking? I'm talking about, well, you know... Uh, Riz and them used to have a lot of conversations about that. So we'll go back to the early 90s. 90s, because they came out in 93. Right, so we'll go back around the early, round about, yeah, round about around that time. Wu-Tang them. Because mm -hmm. Riz and them used to talk about it a lot, you know, and then Snoop and them came out and with they gin juice and all that. But now, in the, but the music was... It was provocative. It was provocative. Most people tend to make the music. Most tend to, most artists tend to make music about what's around them, about what there's, about their surroundings, about what they go through, about what they see. I, you know, i.e. N.W.A. They made their music based on what they saw around them growing up in Compton. You know, back when that police. With thing was really bad back then. Um, same thing with Wu Tang growing up in you know in New York City area in Staten Island at the time because you know we're all around about the same age. You know, granted, Dre and them's a little bit older, but we're all around about the same age. Around that time when 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 things were really really rough, you know, what I'm saying they tend to make music about what's going on around them. You but I think they always try to. So so basically, they've always tried to push a certain type of music instead of instead of pushing the KRS one, the uh, the the Nas, the Ooh, uh, radio? the radio, the radio, the the, mm. the, 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 the the public, the public have always pushed a certain type of music because they didn't they they didn't play a lot of KRS one, they didn't play a lot of. Nas, they didn't play a lot of cool G rap. Yeah, they did. Not, not, not a lot. Yeah. Not, not a lot. Come on, man. Yeah. They played more Snoop Dogg. No. 
Yes, they did. Man, they, well, bro, see, they see, played at more that shit. time, at that particular time, KRS was kind of, he was doing his thing, but he was a little bit more on the decline where everybody else was coming up. Snoop became hot because Dr. Dre was still hot at the time. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he had just formed Death Row. So that's why Snoop became hot because of all that. Wu-Tang became hot because they was the new thing coming out of the North. You know what I'm saying? But they were more into... But, but a nobody lot of had ever... A lot seen, of that music was time, more intellectual. Though. Yes, but nobody had ever heard anything like that before. What, what, what caught people's eye with the Wu-Tang Clan was the, the music itself. Because you had a on a producer that was so unorthodox that he could put together sounds and make it sound good, even though it might not sound like it's on beat, or even though the tones might not sound like they match, but he could still put it together and make it sound good. And then you couple it with some lyricists. That's what people were drawn into at that time because, again, education was very important. So people were still learning, people were still reading, people were still, you know, taking in stuff. You know what I'm saying? At the time when Wu came around, the education has gotten so lackluster now that it's not even really an issue that you have to complete school, that you have to go to college, that you have to do all of this, that you even have to read books because you got video games and, and, and tablets and all you do is all of that shit all the time. So you you taken away from, you know what I'm saying, the education part of it. So it's, it's really not an issue. So it does, the music doesn't have to be intellectual anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about just black kids. The white kids are the worst ones because they're the ones that's actually promoting and listening to the majority of this music. They're the ones that's saying that that Lil Yachty is an actual artist and superstar. This nigga can't even rap. This nigga can't even rap, bro. So, so, so all now, artists so should now, be so, able to somehow, so, some, some way, be able to. So it's still, so it's still upon the parents, though, right? Definitely upon the so parents. So what about the, what about the, what about the people who are allowing this to be put out? They don't care. Who they? The ones who money. are promoting. People like Yachty. They, they just, want, like they just about, it's all about money for them. Wow. It's all about money for them. It's not about, you know what I'm saying? If I was a parent and I had a small child, I would always watch what I listen to around my child. You're not going to be, if I'm listening to Jeezy, you're not going to be listening to Jeezy. Because if I hear you, if I hear you say one word from a Jeezy song, I'm dead in it right then. Where you learn that from? Better not ever hear you say it again. You got kids now, three, four, five years old, re reciting the damn WAP song. How the hell you know about that? Because your mama is sitting there letting you listen to it and letting you watch the video on YouTube because she don't care. You know what I'm saying? So we can't blame it on the promoters and the other people in the industry because they're going to put out what sales. Right. If it's going to generate some type of money, they're going to put it out. They don't care. Nine times out of ten, they don't have small children. Their children probably already grown up, if they even have children. So they're going to let it go out there. They're going to shoot it out there because they want to get the money from it. They want their cut. They want their 10%. They 20%. Either, either, they, either they want the money from it or they, just, they might just be uh, rapping about what they know and what they've seen, too. Yeah, but and put it in but, an artist or art type honestly, of way. But honestly, honestly, give me a percentage of uh, how many of those have actually seen and done that. And in, in I mean, you, I'm a, I'm a, I, I have to go with I have to go with the last joint I just did, bro. Slick talk. I gotta go with slick talk. That's just something that you know it happens. It's life, and we did it. You know what I'm saying? We did the song like, <laughs> exactly. and it was and it was a fun song. It was a fun. It was a fun. It was fun making the song. You know, even though it is what it is. You exactly. feel what I'm saying? Right. I understand. Okay, but let me ask you this: Creative. Have you listened to a Lil Yachty song? 
I've tried, man. I couldn't do it. And 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 tell me why you couldn't do it. It just didn't. It didn't resonate with with me. So do you believe that anything he was saying in the, any of that song was something that he actually did? I mean, I I don't, I don't know. It just didn't resonate with me though. I couldn't. Exactly. I couldn't picture it. So <laughs> tell me. So tell me how this particular person became such a commodity that you actually put him out and let him make money versus somebody else that's actually got that's real a real talent. Question. That's a good question. How? That I don't know. I don't know. Somebody's buying it. If I knew. Somebody's streaming it and buying it and listening to it. And and, and if, if they stream it and buying knew, it and listening you know, to it, then the promoter's going to keep promoting it. I'm going to tell, tell you something that was told to me years ago when I first started with the with the real industry part of this was that it, they say a lot of times in order for you to make it in the music industry you have to have a buzz mm -hmm. you have to be able to create a buzz definitely nowadays if you can create a buzz and get people to following you and listening to you and playing your stuff online and whatever the case may be then there's a good chance you can make it. I'm still trying to figure out for myself where the fuck he got his buzz from. What type of people are actually listening to this type of music? I've asked that question. To actually too. say that he got a buzz. He played it for somebody. Somebody liked it and probably just tried it and said, let's push it. Let's push a couple of his joints and see what happens. You know, dress him up. That's that's the yeah. only thing I can think of because considering how long some of these artists out here have been in the industry and have been doing music before they actually made it, for somebody like that and certain individuals in his category as well to come along and just make it like that, something had to be pushed out there or it could it be a brainwash scenario. What you mean? Could it be something in the music that's making people like that shit? You listen to it? What no, I mean? have not listened to it. Oh, you mean? I can't listen to it, bro. Mm. No. Well, how do you know what it sounds like? It only it only takes me to listen to you for thirty seconds to know whether or not I'm gonna like that. That's, song I mean, well, that's something to look into then. If you think, if you were. Thinking something like that, something. I mean, I'm just, being said. I'm just speaking out loud. It, might, it could be something repetitive. About, I don't know. It could be something repetitive. It could, can it catch could, you. It could be. It might, it might be the, the. It could just be the hook that catching people, and the way he said and what's being said. Yeah, but not. But majority of the time, the hook is just as whack as the verse. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to pull it up, man. Unless he's on a Listen song with somebody else and that other person is the one he's riding their coattail off of, then that could be the case. But, you know, this dude got a whole album and I can't even I can't even listen to two songs that he done done. I just can't. It's, it's not possible. You know, I like, you know, and it, it, it's not just him. It's other artists as well. Uh, another artist I've never listened to is Travis Scott. I don't know what Travis Scott's music is. I've never listened to him. Travis Scott. Yeah, I've never listened to Travis, Travis Scott. Travis Scott, he's he pretty dope. I've never listened to Travis Scott. Lil Uzi Vert. I've never listened to Lil Uzi Vert. Oh, no, see, I can't get it. See, then you start talking about Uzi now. See? Uzi, Blueface. I've never listened to Blueface. Yeah. I, I heard that one song. Though. I've never listened to anything else yeah, that he's ever done. Yeah. I can't get it. I can't get into it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm almost... Tempted to say the same thing about Future. Future, Future know how to swag a song, dude. Man, Future, Future, if you watching this, I need you to speak the fuck up. I can't understand what the fuck you're saying, He's bro. He's a swag. He's a swag rapper. I can't understand what you're saying. He's a swag. Period. Point blank. I can't understand it. Speak up. So, so let's let's let. So basically, it's still on the parent. Still on the parents. It's always gonna be on the parents. It's always on the parents. Yeah, you gotta you gotta watch what your children listen so, to. So so basically the state of the state of hip hop is 
is not is not is not in a yeah bring you bring you good so so the state of hip hop is not it is what it is you know right. what I'm saying it's it's, it's 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 all about the parents it's all about the parents and what you let them listen it to. melted all the way it's all of it yeah <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, you gotta get more than one so, of them. little pack of things. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta get more than one. So the state of hip hop is it is what it is. It ain't even yeah. pretty much. Pretty much. I mean, will it change? Probably not. I think it's gonna even decline even further. Because uh you know, we're getting older. The other artists are getting older as well. And I'm totally against anybody saying that you're too old to rap. Totally against anybody saying that <coughs> you're too old to be an artist. Even if you're already an established artist, if you feel like you can make music, you continue to make music. You know why? I will be the one listening to it. So for Nas, Cameron, uh, any of you guys out there, continue to make the music because I'll, I'll listen to it. Regardless, I'll listen to it. I don't care. If Big Daddy Kane was to drop an album right now, I'm going to be the one, the first one to go and listen to it. I'm going to listen to it. I don't care about the age thing, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, if I'm never against anybody getting themselves a hustle and, and, and generating money from it. But at the same time, I need you to hone your craft. Hone your craft if you don't do it. I've been doing it. I've been I've been rhyming for over twenty years, man. For well over twenty years. And I may still have some growing to do when it comes to it. But at the same time, I try to perfect my craft to 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 make it what I want it to be. I ain't just gonna get out there and put no crap out there. You know what I'm saying? So you can listen to it and be like, oh, what the hell is he talking about? Mm -mm. You don't know exactly what I'm talking about when I speak it. But I feel like it's still just going to continue to go downhill because you're letting, they're letting some artists into this game right now that they, they, they saturate it with bullshit, man. Like for real. They saturate it with But I think that, I, I feel like that does play a part on society though. Oh well, yeah, it definitely plays a part but, on society, even with society. So you saying it plays a part on society because the parents allowed the younger generation to listen to it at, at such a young age? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, shoot, man, I was sorry, right, man. I just I appreciate you coming through, bro. You know yeah, what I'm man. saying? That was definitely, you know, some interesting content, man. Um, hey, we, we might have to get you back, man. I can say. Paintings on the wall, man. St. Checkers, this chest, baby. Muddy Waters. Baby.